Hello. Today I'm going to talk you through how to service your Maxil ICO3 solenoid valve. The ICO3 valve is typically used in oil and gas actuator control applications. By watching this video you will prolong the life of your solenoid valve and ensure that it is fitted correctly. The first thing that we do is we need to remove the valve from the solenoid. We're going to do that with a 4mm hex wrench. We're going to check that the o-ring is free from any nicks or cuts and that the internal parts of the solenoid again there's no corrosion or signs of wear. So we take a 2.5mm hex key and unscrew the four countersunk screws. So having removed your countersunk screws it's now time to remove the valve body from the poppet assembly. So we use a small Tommy bar and a 5mm spanner. We unscrew the armature Remove the top cylinder and then disassemble the poppet. The poppet comprises of three parts and it's best to check all of these for any signs of wear. Okay, now with your valve assembly um, in pieces and that you've checked that all wear mechanisms are intact and there is no signs of corrosion, it is best to clean the product. We use isopropyl alcohol along with a lint-free cloth and preferably a nitrile glove. When installing the O-rings, it's best to use Wallycoat 55, use that around the O-ring, and then we can install our O-rings, wiping away any excess grease. Now, the next stage would be to reassemble our valve. We're going to install the twin seat into the upper and lower poppet. Use a five millimeter spanner and a torque wrench, and torque these to the appropriate torque setting as per the maintenance manual. We take our top cylinder, push the two together. We're then gonna take the armature, again, double checking that there is no damage that could have occurred during assembly, thread the two pieces together as well. We now use a Tommy bar and our torque wrench and again torque to the correct setting as per the maintenance manual. At this stage it's best to check the valve has adequate movement and that there is no snagging. It's now time to lower the poppet assembly into our valve body, taking great care that the valve seat is not damaged during installation. You'll then need to take a 2.5mm hex key and screw up the four countersunk screws. Using our torque wrench with a 25 hex key on, torque the four bolts in an equal and opposite radial pattern as per the maintenance manual. Take the spring, insert it into the armature and then once again correct that the valve has movement and it is not sticky. We're then going to mate the valve with the solenoid ensuring that the conduit and the inlet and outlet are within the same alignment. Using a 4mm hex key, screw the two screws into place. Tighten the bolts with a torque wrench as per the operations and maintenance manual. Now the last stage is to remove the top cap and replace the sealing o-ring. We do this using a 2.5mm hex key. Using our hands we're going to unscrew the lid, we're going to check that the bore mating face on the solenoid pot is, uh, is clean and free from any damage. Replace the sealing o-ring and then replace the lid. Screw the lid until tight and then take a 2.5mm hex key to tighten up your set screw. And that's how you service your ICA3 solenoid valve. 